today's topic is to find the whole given the percent and the part. You must remember, just like finding the part or finding the discount, we could use part over whole is equal to percent over 100. Or percent times the whole is equal to the part. Okay, let's look at the first question. On my quiz, I got 27 questions correct. My grade was a 90%. And the question itself is, how many questions were on the test? Okay, the first way that we're going to do it is the proportion way. So the proportion, we had parts over whole. <clears throat> is equal to percent over 100. Let us look at our knowns. So we know that we have 27 questions that we got correct, and we know that our grade was a 90%. This right here is a telltale sign that percent we could substitute in with 90. So we have 90 for percent. And that's always out of 100. That 100 is always going to remain the same in that spot. And let's see if we're going to substitute in for the part of the whole. So if we're saying that we got 27 questions correct and that was only in 90, we know that is the part. We know that 27 is the part because that's how many questions we got correct for a grade of a 90. If we got 100 questions correct and 100% correct and 27 questions, that would be the whole because we know that 27 questions would equal to 100%, so that must be the whole. But here, we only got 27 questions correct, and that's a 90%, so we don't know how many questions were on the test. Okay, let's look at our proportion right here. 27 over question mark is equal to 90 over 100. Can we scale up or down easily from 27 to 90? And the answer is no. So what we're going to have to do is take this right here and reduce it. What goes into 90 and 100? 10. So divide the top and bottom by 10 to scale down. And we get 27 over the question mark, because we didn't do anything there, is equal to 90 divided by 10, 9. 100 divided by 10 is 10. So 90 over 100 is equivalent to 9 over 10 because we scaled down by 10. The reason why we scaled down is so we could easily see if these two match up somehow. So 27 to 9, we know that we could scale down or divide by 3. So in this case, we're going to do the inverse, which is multiply by 3, because we're going this way. So 10 times 3 is 30. So that means that there are 30 questions on the test. The whole is 30. Let's look at the next way that we could do it. Same question, though. So again, <clears throat> on my quiz, I got 27 questions correct. My grade was a 90%. How many questions were on the test? So the second way that we could do it is with that formula. Percent multiplied by the whole is equal to the part. So, percent times whole is equal to the part. We know that 
we said 27 represented, oops, 27 represented the part because that is a piece of the test. We don't know how many questions are in there because 27 was equivalent to a grade of a 90%. Percent, we said, was 90. Again, it is very important to write the percent as a decimal times the whole is equal to 27. So 0.90 times uh, some number is equal to 27. I know we didn't learn this yet, and it's going to be learned later on in our lesson. Not today, our lessons as in in the future. But if we have a number multiplied by a number, another number, we get the answer. <clears throat> but here, we have a number times an unknown number is equal to 27. So if we're multiplying here to get this answer, what we could do is, on this side, divide by 0.90, because that is our inverse. And whatever we do on one side, we must do on the same side, uh, the opposite side of the equal sign to make sure that it's balanced. So these cancel out because anything divided by itself is 1. And 1 times any number would be that whole number. So we have 27 divided by 0.90. So what we could do now is set it up like a division problem. So 0.90 on the outside, 27 on the inside. But you should remember that we don't like those decimals outside. So we're going to convert that into a whole number. And again, whatever you do to one, you have to do to the other. Add some zeros in there. The decimal point is now at the end, and it's very important to bring it up. So we say, can 90 go into 2? No. Can 90 go into 27? Again, no. Can 90 go into 270? Yes. The answer is 3 times. 3 times 90 is 270. 270 subtracted from 270 is 0. Bring down that 0. And 90 into zeros are 0. 0 times 90 again is 0. Subtract, and the problem is over. So again, as you can see, the answer to this is there are 30 questions on the test. So the whole, again, is 30. This is just the other way of doing it. So tomorrow we're going to look at a few different word problems, and you can choose whether you want to do it percent times whole is equal to the part, or part over whole is equal to percent over 100. See you tomorrow.